live the life that they live. Time that they give to the end, it don't seem fair. Yeah, come on, something is wrong with the machine. Your evaporation slowly drains. You are your will to be. You are your will to be awesome. The protest started at City Hall with speeches. The group then moved to NATO Parkway, where the hundreds of counter protesters set up on the west side of the street, the Patriot Prowl Rally on the east side. Police said they had to call in additional staff because of the number of weapons they were seeing. Officers confiscated bats, shields, and firework mortars, among other items. Three people were injured during the protest, but police say only one person was taken to the hospital. One protester claims he was injured <coughs> by police. The Office of Independent Police Review is now investigating, and police are asking anyone who saw anything to come forward. We are reaching out to the community today and asking that if you uh, observed uh, force being used, if uh, you were potentially injured uh, by uh, law enforcement actions, that you contact the police bureau at the non-emergency line so that we can include that in part of our review process. This is the photo that's circulating on social media. It was first reported on the website Raw Story. The man says his helmet was hit by a flashbang fired by officers. He says if it weren't for his helmet, he would have been seriously injured. Police said they are reviewing this and could not say whether or not the item lodged in the helmet you can see in the picture came from police. That will all be part of the investigation. So again, if you were at yesterday's protest and you witnessed anything related to this incident or feel you were injured by police, they're asking you contact Portland police so they can look into it. First at 11, four people arrested. This news just in the last hour. Windows of police cars shattered. Police said at one point, protesters surrounded patrol cars and threw chemicals. No officers were inside those cars at the time. Charges against the four include things like harassment, attempted assault on a public safety officer, and disorderly conduct. All of this amid those dueling demonstrations downtown. And that all started with a freedom march and a campaign rally. It was organized by conservative Washington Senate candidate Joey Gibson. And today, he had this to say to his supporters. Get together, build a family. You don't even have to do what we do, but go find something and change the world. That's the spirit that we got to bring back into this country. We're missing it. Now, Gibson, of course, also leads the far right group Patriot Prayer. Critics say his rallies often attract other groups known for more racist or sexist views. And the other concern about today's rally, Gibson told his supporters on Facebook to bring guns so that counter protesters would know that his crowd was armed. Amid the flashbangs and arrests. I'm actually living the way that God built me. Joey Gibson. Oh, you're running for a, a Senate seat, right? Yes, I am. Was on the mic a lot today. Uh, sure, maybe whoever's asking the question. His frequent refrain, Portland is liberal and conservatives feel silenced. All right, get ready. So he's here to make a statement. It's not even about those punks over there. It's not about that. They're just an obstacle. We got to get them out of the way. Them being counter protesters, Antifa and others who showed up in such big crowds, they dwarfed Gibson's rally. Gibson, who bust supporters in from Vancouver, had predicted that. He pointed out ahead of time his group is pro-gun and people here are likely carrying. I didn't ask people to bring it. I just said we always have guns. As a result, Portland police vowed to seize weapons and did. Photos peppered social media today. We didn't see any guns. This man came in tactical gear. We are prepared for the worst, but we're hoping for the best. Uh, we do have ballistic gear on, but we do not have any firearms. All of our gear is primarily for medical attention. Other gear we saw, logos for the Proud Boys, an organization deemed a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. If you're pro-life, you're a hate group. If you're against gay marriage, you're a hate group. Ask Southern Poverty Law Center, how many people on the left do they call out? Also in the crowd, this woman who admits she's an unlikely supporter of Gibson's message. I'm a tranny and it's okay to say that. It, it, I don't want you to be fired for calling me a he. I don't want, I want people to have their own 
opinions and I want people to choose to call me what pronouns. Like, I don't want to force my pronouns on other people. She was one of dozens who came downtown to deliver a message, then get back on a bus and leave Portland, the city they say is too liberal to hear their voice. Now, police haven't said whether those arrested today were part of Patriot Prayer or part of the counter demonstrations. KGW's Art Edwards, speaking of, took a closer look at the counter protests at today's rally. And Art, a lot of different groups came out to show their opposition to Patriot Prayer. Well, there is no doubt about that. A counter protest is nothing new to Portland. Today, there was concern that it could become violent. People made sure their voices were heard. The counter protest started early at City Hall people making passionate speeches. What a beautiful day it is to know that we are here, Portland strong and continuing to organize, not just today, but every day, every day, until we fight back the root causes of our oppression. From there, it moved to NATO Parkway, where the hundreds of counter protesters set up on the west side of the street, the Patriot Prayer Rally on the east side. I just feel like we have to show up. I just, I, it's astounding every week, every day, it seems to be worse, not getting better. You think it's gonna hit bottom and I'm just, I just think at a certain point we have to make a stand. Not everyone was taking sides today. Some want to see dialogue between people with different views. I'm here for the, for America, you know, just for unity. And this is not unity, this is, poisoning us with tear gas. I mean, this is, these are our streets, you know what I mean? Come talk to us. Okay. Let's find resolve. Sky 8 captured the scene from above as Portland police provided a buffer between the two groups. They were, for the most part, successful in keeping the two groups separated. Gotta keep them separated. At one point, police surrounded several protesters. Our cameras captured at least a couple of people being restrained and then detained by police. Eventually, police called an end to the protest and issued a warning. These images were captured by a man at the protest as police took action. At least one person at the protest took something positive from it. Love is uh, and, and, and joy and equality are all possible if we are just able to kind of keep everyone's perspectives in mind. That man was in from out of town. He said he heard about the protests going on and wanted to get down there and see them for himself. No law enforcement officers were hurt. Three people were treated for injuries. One of them had to go to the hospital with what police say are non life threatening injuries. To you, I say stop whining. Crazy pills!